Hi Gemini and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well um, with the start to 2020. Um, I'm a bit delayed with my readings but I'm here now. As you probably noticed I'm doing things a bit differently because someone made a comment that I don't deal and shuffle online um, on camera. Rather, um, The only reason for that is just to save time and I meditate on my cards. Um, but to prove a point that I'm genuine, um, I'm going to do it all on camera today for you. Okay, so um, as I was meditating, I got some of you have someone on your mind at the moment. Getting Earth energy, if that's relevant. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Some of you, yeah, you're like daydreaming about this person at the moment. That's obviously just for some of you. Let's see what else comes out for you here. Well, you came out in your own reading there, Gemini. Too many cards. I just want to take a few more. Okay. Now that's interesting because this is the card that jumped earlier, King of Pentacles, the Earth energy I picked up on Capricorn Taurus Virgo. So that might be relevant for some of you. Um, okay, so some of you, this person might have walked away from you and that's why they're on your mind. Okay, or you walked away from someone who meant a lot to you and might be the mother of your children, uh, might be a Libra or Taurus potentially, and that could be the earth energy I picked up on. Um, I sense this was you that potentially walked away from this person. And you're like really up in your head and conflicted about this now. Um, or the other person is, it could go either way. But there's certainly um, lots of thoughts. As I, as I said, that was what I picked up on, someone on your mind. So I feel this is you. The person's still on your mind, you're stuck, you can't move on from this person and you're conflicted about what to do. You would like to move forward towards them and apologise or make an offer, you know, to go out, for example. So this could only be for a select few of you because this is what was really coming through as I meditated. As I said, you came out here, Gemini. Um, this could be a divine connection for some of you, twin flame connection. Um, and you decided to be alone. For whatever reason, what I'm picking up on is for some of you, it was too, um, it was too intense. You know, this was a gift from the universe. It's divinely orchestrated, but it was too intense for some of you. And if it is a twin flame experience, um, that can often happen. It can be very overwhelming because it's this instant love, basically. And if it, if this isn't you, this, you know, take what resonates. It could be the other person that did that and they want to come towards you. 
Um, I'm definitely sensing here though that there's going to be a union uh, between you both. You're going to work things out um, and come together. This really, you know, is an image of twin flames as well. So this really confirms it to me, the two here. You're being divinely brought back together. The working out, you might have had to work on your own things, your own internal issues, and the other person might have had to as well. And that then brings you back into alignment. So that could be happening now, um, and a change is on the way, definitely, because we got these two cards here, divine love, definitely um, very sacred love and the king of pentacles someone more grounded it could be capricorn taurus virgo but don't read too much into the signs this is more the energy of someone who before was potentially they were conflicted um and they realized what they had they're now realizing what they had and they're coming in more grounded I do sense this is more their energy. Um, and you've and you've been the more sort of independent one working on yourself and your finances. Take what resonates, obviously. Um, bottom of the deck, ten of wands. So yeah, laying down those burdens. The the um, inner work I mentioned is often about working through your own issues, yeah, thoughts, behaviours, patterns, cycles that need to end. And you've got two tens, so that's quite significant, I think, yeah, laying down those burdens and moving into this union, so definitely ending energy. And that's really interesting there, look, the Queen of Pentacles underneath. So this divine partnership, yeah, can come together when all of these things are shed. Cycles, patterns, whatever it is that, you know, both of you have to work on. You are is what I'm is what I'm getting for January. Um, it might not be January. It might be you're still working through this in January. Okay, not quite in alignment with the with the Nine of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. Not both not quite in alignment until these things are worked through, and that's on both parts. And then when they are, this is this is what you get. You get victory. <laughs> yes, yeah, so when that happens, the divine connection comes in and you have the marriage card here. Sacred marriage. Two sixes. Change. You know, the two, two tens, completion of the cycle. And two aces as well. That's really lucky. Got the two aces here. Yeah, it's divinely orchestrated. So it's coming for you, definitely. Just keep working on yourself. Yeah, being this fertile, creative person. Working on you. Okay, Gemini, so I hope that might have resonated for you in some way. Please do like, comment and subscribe if it did. And I hope to see you again soon.